Good af- good morning, everybody. I was going to say good afternoon there. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to It's All Black and White TV and it's Match Day. Yes, uh, kickoff in just over an hour and 13 minutes time. <clears throat> um, right, before we get into the show, if you do like what you see, follow Sean the Sheep and do smash those likes. It does help the channel. It means new viewers find it more easily. So please do give it a like. It does really help. Thank you very much. If you're brand new to the channel, come and smash the subscribe for it. You do so. Helps the channel grow. And also hit that bell notification that keeps you notified when we have an up an upcoming show, a live show, or a pre-record as well. Um, gonna make a donation to 99 Pete and do that by hitting the dollar sign. Um, sorry, you can do that by clicking the join button if you want to join as a member. And if you want to make a donation, you can do that by clicking the dollar sign in the chat as well. All money reinvested back in the channel. Right, let's get into some comments first of all before we get into the main part of the show. Bias says, hi, Tony, break out the Sheila jet, and we are pulling out of a big win today. Let's hope, mate. Brian says, apparently we are going to win the Premier League this season on a walk today. I told the guy, if we do, I want Ness and Dorma playing at the stadium with a VT and Bobby Robson on the big screen. No chance we're winning the Premier League, that's for sure. Not this season, anyway. Hi, Tony, says, trolls, hi to you, mate. Hope you're well. Sefton's in the chat. Afternoon, everyone. Let's get ready to rumble. Absolutely, Sefton. Absolutely, mate. Ian Fleming. Morning, Tony. Morning to you, mate. I hope you're well. Brian says, get the lube ready, Tony. It could be a long day. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Brian. Paul Gardner. Morning, everyone. Good morning to you, Paul. Hope you're well. Uh, 2 1 win today. Isak, both of them. How are we, the lads? Yeah. I, why not? Yeah. That's what I've gone for. Jake says, sorry, can't see us winning today. Well, you never know, Jake. You never know. But, yeah, it's going to be a tough ask, isn't it? Mad Mag says, good morning, lads and lasses. Good morning to you. Hope you're well. Uh, David says, got my nephew around for the game today. Hopefully, it's an entertaining one. For him, he's only six. Let's hope so, mate. Let's hope so. Morning all, says Mason. Good morning, Mason. You'll be getting, you'll be, it's St. James's now, are you? Uh, Paul says, I don't know why I typed that word twice don't worry it happens mate heard it was paul garland's birthday yesterday i had him to get a roly poly but he was he got some nail varnish and dry skin shavings oh jesus brian uh dummit will think he's main event at wwe oh yeah because it looks like he could be playing today couldn't he um i can't see us uh win with dummit a left back we're doomed I mean, look, they're talking about Gillespie having a new deal, aren't they, as well? And Dummer could even get one. Uh, who's going to be at left back with Hall being out? Um, it's Well, Gordon, it's going to look like um, Paul Dummett, isn't it? I am Tony, yeah, absolutely. I'm hoping for Alex Murphy. Yeah, I would rather put Alex Murphy there, if I'm honest. Um, but again, we'll just have to wait and see on that. Surprising any crypto. Right, okay, so today's game is a bit of a special game because um, the sponsorship seller have donated the sponsorship to a charity, and we now know that is um, this charity. There we are, and that will be on the front of the shirts today, the Royal National Institute for Deaf People. Um, uh, You know, such a nice touch. Um, Maybe other clubs will look at this and think, wow, okay, Newcastle's done this, you know, and um, you know, for the people who are gone, who can't here, yeah, look, they're going to have like sensors in their shirts, um, and there's extra mics around the stadium. So when noise ramps up, like a goal scored or just cheering, support, chanting, they're going to feel that through these sensors. So look, I think it's a terrific idea, and uh, I think it's absolutely brilliant and well done to Silla for doing that. Um. It, it 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 it's just absolutely fantastic that they have actually done this. Um, you know. Um, obviously, Salah's committed to providing the technology for all future Newcastle home games, and hope this is a world first innovative that will inspire clubs. So this is going to be a thing that's going to be going on for the foreseeable as well, which I think is absolutely brilliant. Um, they want to improve on accessibility, and now European and beyond may look at this as well. Um, Abraham um, 
Walter Seb, the Senior Vice President of Cell Asset Insurance, every fan is able to experience the amazing atmosphere. It is so important to us as a proud partner of Newcastle United. He says St James's Park is renowned for its noise and passion. Through this initiative, we hope to enable the deaf fans and fans with hearing loss to feel part of it. We would welcome the whole football family to join us by adopting this technology by acting now we can collectively make watching live football matches an incredible experience for everybody who loves the game. And he's absolutely spot on with that. Well done. Um, I mean, look, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant that they're getting this technology, you know, because it will make them feel more part of it. Um, Peter Silverstein, our commercial officer, said, Newcastle's partnership with Seller continues to provide spectacular experiences for our fans. When Seller shared the idea and technology behind the haptic shirts, we supported the concept immediately. We knew it would have a profound and lasting impact on supporters who are deaf or have hearing loss. He says the atmosphere our supporters generates at St James's Park is famously powerful and being able to bring that experience in such an accessible way is very special. We look forward to playing our part in the initiative and hope to inspire fans of other clubs, sports and entertainment um, as well. Um, and obviously, um, you know, having these on our home shirts, RNID are the first here in Lost Charity to feature on a Premier League shirt. So, you know, in, in the support, 12 million people in the UK who are deaf have here in Lost or uh, tinnitus. Uh, Terry Devine, the Director of Inclusion at RNID, says one in five adults in the UK have deaf or hearing loss. And people face barriers in everyday life, including the live sports events. He says it's, it's fantastic to see Newcastle and Seller bring the way, um, champion this technology, which has a potential to have a real and lasting impact on the people who are deaf or have hearing loss experiencing live sports he says we're excited with this part of the co collaboration and we hope this exposure opens up conversations amongst football fans about hearing loss and encourages other football clubs to raise their game and make sure deaf, deaf fans are fully included so absolutely fantastic you know again well done to the club for this and absolutely brilliant So let's get into some comments. Uh, surely Dummett and Gillespie new contractors to make the Brewers nothing else. Well, we shouldn't even be giving them new contracts. I mean, look, Gillespie wasn't even first choice at Motherwell. That just shows you how bad a keeper he is. Baker Grove auditions are open. Tony Ant and Deck want to head more stuff for the Grove. Uh, good morning, says Andrew. Good morning to you. Uh, Alan Barron's high mate, he says three one the tune. I'll take that all day, mate. Um, we should tell the blind people what we do for them every week. Oh, BR. No need for that, BR. It's terrible. Uh Jake says dumb it acts as a security at the training ground as well. Uh Justine Sinclair, nice one, Mason. Uh, if long he starts the after what he said about his fitness, how he needs to go and thinking and think in the box. I mean, look, yeah, he's apparently got a foot injury, hasn't he? And it's just not great at all, is it? Um, I saw him that last week, Nadi Das Kits filming make sense. Yeah. Yeah, he's at the game, Andrew, yeah. Tino pictured walking in the park on X. Yeah, but I don't think he's fit to play, though, is he? Uh, good day, Tony says, Alan. Good day to you, mate. Hope you're well. Uh, BS says, I always wondered... Uh, dear blanket only banned sex in public. Oh, yeah, Jesus. Uh, it's typical that long stuff is out and we get done with. Um, don't know what's worse. Uh, long stuff's playing, I think. Nothing's been said that he's out, but we'll know in four minutes when the team news comes out. Uh, Billy the Fish, I'm back. Missed loads of shows. Been in hospital, I've missed the banter, lads. Oh, Billy, I hope you're very well, mate. I hope you're getting better, um, you know, and uh, but glad you're on the road to recovery now and, um, you know, get well soon. And hopefully we can put a performance on today that makes you feel even better. Uh, what we given Dummett and Gillespie new contracts, that's just how it's a waste of money. Exactly. Absolutely. Um, there was a thing in the Chronicle yesterday that apparently the Club of a, the chairman has said 
he doesn't have a problem if Howe makes that double so from Bournemouth of Kelly and Solanke. What's your thoughts? I think that's just paper talk because I don't think that's true. Uh, Teen on Hall walking in. Let's go. Uh, Prince Andrew could play. <laughs> oh, jeez, he could do. Um, I have tint us and that can be a nightmare. I went to a meeting at the Freeman about it and lost it. Last has had it in half deaf and explained to me it's a lot worse than me. Yeah. Blood clot in my leg. Oh, well, I'm glad, you, glad you're getting better, mate. Well, glad you're getting better. Yeah, so the team news will be out in a couple of minutes, guys. Um, I mean, look, we're hoping somebody's fit to play at left back other than Paul Dummett, let's be honest. Um, we don't really want him to play at, uh, at left back, do we? Um you know, not after the game against Everton when he was a bit of a nightmare, wasn't he? he the county way, so, but yet there was people, there was people out there who defended him and said, "You know, why is everybody having to go Paul Dummett for?" Well, why is everybody having to go Paul Dummett? Well, why do you think people are having to go Paul Dummett? You know, um. Just looking at Spurs, see what they've got on. They've got all their shirts out. Uh, Postacoglu walking in. And pictures of St. James Park. So, yeah. Um, but no, I'm looking at our pictures now. Yeah, there's Bruno walking in. Um, Sean Longstaff. Elliot Anderson's there, as we know. I mean, the thing is... The papers are saying is you know the media are saying is is um is Bruno going to do what Anthony Gordon done? So basically, where Gordon got that booking and then he got himself sent off against West Ham, which knocked his yellow cards back down from nine to eight because he, he received the red. Now, if Bruno gets a pick a picks up a booking today, now that's going to put him out for two games. But if he does something to, if he does something in front of the referee, like kick the ball away, and gets a gets the second yellow, it puts his bookings back to nine, and it just miss he just misses one game. Now I tell you what, if that happens again today, I can see the Premier League going to close that loophole next season, because I bet you now they'll realise what's going on in Lugo. Right? Okay, we need to clock, we need to stop that. So we'll see. Uh, Troll says Kelly's a squad player, but Solanke no. Exactly, I wouldn't buy Solanke because I mean, look, Solanke's just for me not not the player. Is he? he, he you know, he, he may be having a great season, but he could have a bad season next season, and you don't know what what Solanke's going to turn up. Okay, the team news is here. So in goal, Martin Dubravka. Um, at the back, we've got Share, Kraft. Burn and well, the way they've got this team news, it's all over the place. So I'll read out an order they've put on anyway. So we've got Dubravka and Goal, Cher, Gordon, Isak, Barnes, Kraft, Murphy. That's Jacob Murphy, by the way. Anderson, Burn, Longstaff, and Bruno. On the bench is Carius, Gillespie, Dummett, Richie, Lewis Hall, Livermento. Joe White, Alex Murphy, and Ben Parkinson on the bench. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll get the team news on screen. The way they've put it out, yeah. I've just got to. I'm trying to work out what what we're playing. I think what we're doing is we're playing Jacob Murphy. I think is a right back. Um, and I think I think we're playing Jacob Murphy as a right back, and Burns going to be the left back by the looks of it, because Kraft's going to move into the. Central centre half positions, um, because I just don't see unless Kraft's going to left back, but then Kraft's not really a left back, is he? It's a bit of a strange one. This, um, it, it there's a lot of people complain about the format we've put this up as well. Um, the team news because it is shocking the way we've stuck it up there. There you go for you all to see. It, it's a bit shocking in my eyes. Um. I'm going to have now a look on Sky at their lineup and see how they've got us lined up. Um, and that might give us some idea. Um, that's the way I'm sort of thinking we're lining up. 
Ah, right, okay. So this is how we're lining up. So Martin Dubravka and goal. This is according to Sky. The back four is Jacob Murphy right back, Emil Kraft and Fabian Scher, the centre-backs, with Scher moving to the left side of centre-half, and Dan Byrne, the left-back. Uh, midfield three of Longstaff, Bruno and Elliot Anderson. And um, up the front three is Harvey Barnes on the right wing. Alexander Isak in the middle and Anthony Gordon on the left. So that's how we line up. So Barnes is playing as a right wing at today. Um, Spurs line up with Vicario and goal, Pedro Porro, Christian Romero, Mickey van der Ven, Destiny Udogi as the back four. Then in front of them is a midfield two of uh, Yves Basuma and Rodrigo Bentecourt. Then you've got the three um, of Brennan Johnson, James Madison in that number 10 role, and Timo Werner on the left with Son up front. So Spurs are playing a 4 2 3 1 formation. And I will get the Tottenham team up as well in just one moment. Um, let me know your thoughts on this team. Are you happy with this team? Or has any made some wrong choices here? You know, because we haven't got the natural left back. And um, is it going to be a case of Burns going to get roasted today by Brennan Johnson? That's the thing. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit of a weird one for me. Um, I'm not sure. I'll just get the Tottenham team off for you. Anyway. There's a Spurs team. <laughs> Ian's going 2 1. Uh, 2 1 the tune. Holly says 3 2, but I'll take a draw out the game, absolutely. Uh, Craig says, great time to watch a tea in Australia for once, 8.30pm. Yeah, absolutely, mate. I bet you're buzzing about that. Let Bruno get a red card in the 96 minute. Absolutely, Brian. Can't see us winning this match, though. Hope I'm wrong. Martin Dubravka. Martin letting go to Dubravka. Afternoon, Tony and Chad. Good afternoon to you, Tony Ross. Hope you're well. What about Chelsea selling the hotel? themselves to bypass FFP. I mean, yeah, it, it's shocking what Chelsea do, isn't it? Really, it's absolutely shocking. Um, You know, they're just making a mockery of it, aren't they? They're just trying to get out of it. Two keepers. Well, exactly, Craig. We could have put another youngster on the bench, if we're honest. Two and five, five ones. That's Brian. <laughs> I think we need to bring Tino on a half time if we're struggling. Well, it depends how fit he is, Holly. You know, you might not be able to get 45 minutes out of him, but I'd rather put Hall in if I'm honest. Uh, David says, I've always called dumb it, dumb tit, but he's always been a poor pit. People have rose tinted glasses. Absolutely, David. Absolutely, mate. Um, people just need to realise, you know, it's. We've got to move on with the times. If we want to be an elite club, we've got to move on with the times. Uh, guys, I've currently got 35 watching, but we've got 14 likes. Can we smash that thumbs up, please? That'd be fantastic. Thank you. It does help the channel. So if you don't mind giving that thumbs up a click, that'd be fantastic. Good to see Anderson and Barnes starting. Yeah, it's confusing us. It will confuse Spurs. That's the point. Yeah, probably. Why play long stuff again? Well, we know he's injured. Exactly. Get him out in the summer. Hopefully Leeds will come up and uh, they'll buy him. Although, I think the way Leicester are blowing their chances at the moment, you know, they've lost to Millwall, now they've lost to Plymouth Argyle. Looks like Leicester don't want to come up, do they? Uh, poor Byrne has been great at centre-back and now he'll be around about again, says Trolls. Absolutely, he's been brilliant at centre-back. So, I don't know why he's changing it. Have Kraft left back? Can't say that myself. No, we haven't. You know, I didn't know which way he got it. That's the only problem. I was wondering how he was going to do it, but... 
Uh, Gary says, good morning, Tony. Stuck at work this morning, getting home to watch the second half. Oh, nice one, Gareth. And uh, yeah, she we're going to miss the first half. Let's hope. Um, let's hope it's a decent second half, mate. Jake's happy with Barnes and Gordon. This could be a tongue. And says, Brian, who's going left back? Dan Byrne. Not perfect, but limited option, says Andrew. Morning, Tony and everyone. Come on, the mighty two on me. Let's have 3-1 for us. Let's hope so. I don't think we'll be going 5-0 up in 21 minutes this time. Dan Byrne is better in his natural position. Absolutely. Should have given Carrius a chance. Yeah. No point in bringing in Jad Piaz. That's our problem. Absolutely. Why are we keeping passengers with the team? With is how expecting the same amount of injuries next season. Well, yeah, that's it. It's not football manager <laughs> trust, says Jake. Uh, Burn is getting skinned, says uh, Brian. I mean, look, it's not great, is it? Um, but as I say, they've totally confused the situation when they put that up, didn't they? So if they've confused us, then they've certainly confused um, Tottenham Hotspur as well. So. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. That is for sure. Harvey Potts. <laughs> Morning, Tony. Just had a bacon and egg Sony for breakfast. Was lovely. Glad you enjoyed it, Harvey. Uh, still think we will win two. Once probably not the real Harvey Bonds. Well, we know that it's not. Uh, Brian says, if we end up 5-0 up, it will be to Spurs. I hope not. Ronald says, after what we've done to Spurs last season, they will want revenge despite their changes. Absolutely, Ronald. They won't want to get a humiliating defeat again. Uh, Troll says, um, I know that, Jake, but they've played three matches in three seasons. Uh, Vic Flange, hi mate. He says I've had not yet, not yet out of bed long. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, thank you very much, Tony Ross. He's gifted five memberships and Paul Gardner, Craig Reed, Jam Stasha, Scott O'Brien have all been gifted a membership courtesy of Tony Ross. So thank you very much for your generosity there, Tony Ross. Thank you very much indeed. We are going to lose one nil. Madison free kicks us, Harvey. <laughs> And everybody saying thanks to Tony Ross as well for becoming new members. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and well done. Thank you very much indeed. Brian says, I've had a cup of so far. <laughs> You've had a cup, have you? <laughs> Gosh. Um, I mean, look, it, it's going to be an interesting game. It's going to be a tough game. It's not going to be the easy game as it was. Last season, um, Spurs beat us down their patch, well and truly. So we need some sort of revenge. I'm still, I'm still going for a two-one win to us because I can see us winning this two-one. Hopefully, um, I'll take a point all day. But do you know what? I'm going to say I'm still sticking with two-one. He likes that lineup. Uh, Kenneth Kajer, hi mate, hope you're well. I would have liked to see Kraft right back, share right side of defender, burn left side of defender, and Alex Murphy left back. Yeah, absolutely, it could have been, yeah. Time to get a ramp court in to sponsor the stadium, 100 million, stuff them all, absolutely, Craig. But then the Premier League will say, oh, that's not fair market value. Because that's the only reason with this fair market value coming was because of Leicester City. As soon as them Sports Direct sign comes down, they were the first team to pipe up and everybody followed suit. Wonder if Madison will put... He shouldn't be playing, Jake. He should not be playing today. James Madison should not be playing for Tottenham today. You know, it's a conspiracy. He should have been sent off. VAR has totally and utterly screwed up on that. Uh, didn't want to see Alex Murphy left back too long for my liking. Uh, Julie J says, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Julie. Hope you're well. 
How has the youngsters get experience if they're never used? Well, that's a good point, yeah. I mean, look, we've seen it for Liverpool, haven't we? You know, we saw, we've seen Kwanzaa come into the team for them. Connor Bradley. Uh, yeah, OK, the other week, Kwanzaa gave away, um, you know, gave away a ball, which Bruno Fernandes put away. But, you know, other than that, he's been quite solid. But that's because I trust our youngsters. Jam Stash, I thank you for the gifted and good morning, everyone. Just woke up and got in. Good morning, mate. Hope you're well. Jesus, 22. One hour asses be twitching like rabbits, says Brian. Uh, Harvey Barnes says, in experience, I mean, you know I'd let Hall play. Uh, he's experienced, but game like this, not a type of throwing young players, not with that minute of experience. Well, I thought Alex Murphy played well in pre-season, if I'm honest, and he's done all right when he's come on. 3-1 win, says Ronald. Also think Bruno gets his yellow today in the final game before it resets. Let's hope Isak has his shooting boots on. Absolutely, he will. Uh, Chelsea sold the hotel to their own company to get out of FFP. It's disgusting, isn't it? Jamstash, I said, I noticed Tino's on the bench. He must be fully, must not be fully fit. No, he's not fully fit yet. Uh, Clark, he's in the chat. Um... Hi guys, hi to you, Clock. You hope you're well, mate. Andrew says seven nil, man. Whew, let's hope so, Andrew. I'd love that. But I'll take anything. I'll I'll take absolutely anything. Looks like he's going three at the back. Um, well, according to Sky, he's going with Jacob Murphy right back. He's going four three three according to Sky. So we'll see. Uh, Maka says, not looking forward to this game. Think we can lose 3 or 4-1 with not many options. It doesn't look great, but you never know. Look, against West Ham, we were 3-1 down. We come back 4-3. West Ham totally and utterly buggered that up. Because I think when they withdrew Antonio, that changed that game. Longy shouldn't be playing either, to be fair. I think White could do a better job. Exactly, give him a chance. He's been playing. He's been playing, hasn't he? So he's you know, for um, Crew Alexandra. Uh, Kenneth says, Alex Murphy got more pace than Byrne for sure. Right, and did well in pre-season, absolutely. Got to give the youngsters a chance, you have to, absolutely. Uh, Liverpool have a better youth setup. to be fair, they do. Uh, last game before birthday, so on a massive win. Absolutely, Andrew. Um, talking of the team news, there you go. There's the team news again, just in case anybody's just come in. And uh, that's the tune team news. Uh, Craig says, guaranteed if Bruno gets one, he'll get a second in the 95th minute. Yeah, you probably do some 95th minute, waste some time and get a second yellow. It depends how the ref's thinking. If the ref thinks he's doing it deliberately to get sent off, you probably not give him that second yellow. You watch. And then will everybody be seeing the referee? Well, why don't you give him a second yellow card? That's going to be interesting. Uh, but Barnes scored twice and Lewis all popped the crudest. Yeah, but the thing is, though, I think when they took Antonio off, they took even West Ham fans said taking Antonio off changed the game. Uh, you never know. Remember Villa away? That was supposed to be a defeat. Absolutely. And everybody said we were going to get Wallet there. Those Villa fans who said, wait until Target signs you, F and L, they weren't wrong, were they? No. And he's now in a boot, isn't he? So, you know, again one of these players I think it's probably going to go down as a bad transfer from our side <laughs> must be a win for the tune for my birthday today just turned a professional pensioner says Tony Ross oh mate yeah I'm not in that club yet thankfully but yeah uh, yeah let's hope they do mate uh, the team's not as bad as I first thought uh, isn't great that isn't it great that Salah gave up ship sponsorship for the Deaf Foundation? Yeah, absolutely. And if anybody's just joined, there you go. That's it today. That's what our shirts are going to have on. It's fantastic touch from Salah. Um, 
and it's something that they're going to keep doing apparently like having this out for the deaf but not only just for the you know not just our club but the one the the hope in that other clubs may follow suit what we've done and look the thing is at the end of the day our ownership people like to have a slate of them Seller, yes, they're from Saudi Arabia, and people like to say, oh, yeah, we've got a lot of this Middle Eastern. I don't care what they're saying. At the end of the day, these people are recognising things, and it's for the great of our club that they're doing something like this, and I think it's fantastic. Hats off to them. Hats off to them. And uh, look, you know, these people, you know, the people who are deaf have hearing loss or tinnitus when they go to these games. You know, they're paying money as well to go. So why shouldn't they have the benefits of enjoying what's going on in the crowd? So do you know what? Absolutely fantastic. And I'd like to see other clubs roll this out as well. Um, because I think it's a brilliant, brilliant idea. And go to the chippy before the match starts. See you later. See you later, Ian. Enjoy your fish and chips. Uh, we'll do a Gordon against West Ham. Take his top off or something. Yeah. All he has to do is kick the ball away right in front of the referee as well, which would be absolutely fantastic if he does that, won't he? Sorry, I'm in and out the chat. It's Barnes on the right and Gordon on the left. Yes, absolutely, mate, yeah. think a bit of Southgate rubbing off on Eddie picking long stuff when he's playing him when he's injured. Every time he gets a knock, he's always protected his foot. Yeah, absolutely. Target a hundred million a week. Good for some. It's not, well, it's not a hundred grand a week, hundred thousand a week, but not a hundred million. Uh, see you later, trolls. Have you heard that we are after Sesco? I've heard that as well. Yeah, let's hope. Everybody, tell them to enjoy the chippy. Yeah, happy birthday to Tony Ross. He's officially become a pensioner. Uh, Harvey Barnes says, would love him. He had the tune, but he's mint, but I think we'd have to pay big money for him. I think he's got a clause of about 50 million. Should be all clubs, absolutely. Um, 100,000 a week, absolutely. Fans complain about the ticket price rise. How we expect to compete with the big six? Really need a new stadium. Do you know what? Yes, the price rise. I see a lot of fans are not happy about it, especially the NUST, the Newcastle United Supporters Trust. Now, look, I put a thing on there last night, and I said, look, if people are happy to drop their season tickets, I'll take one. I'll pick one up off them. Absolutely, I would. And then, if, you know, somebody put on, well, why didn't you have one when we were crap? Well, I did have a season ticket, and that was one of the reasons I gave it up, because I was just paying out money, 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 and thinking, do you know what? Why am I, you know, I'm, I am I love this team, but the way it was under our former owner, I thought, why do I have to keep spending money to come and watch this every week, week in, week out? Um, And I gave me a ticket up. I wished I hadn't have now. I really do. I wished I'd bought one in the summer of that season when we got taken over. But, you know, um, hindsight's a funny thing. No one else at the club can do what he does. Uh, what's the lineup? I've just got in. Lineup. I'll pop it on screen for you. It's very confusing when you read it off there, but it's basically Debravka in goal, right back Jacob Murphy, centre back pairing of Kraft and Share, left back Dan Byrne, midfield three Longstaff, Bruno and Anderson up front. Harvey Barnes right wing, Isak in the middle, Gordon left wing. Why is Gillespie on the bench? We could have had Alfie Harrison. Absolutely, Kenneth, I agree. Longstaff doesn't win the ball or create. He doesn't. No wonder tickets are going up if we are giving Target 100 million a week. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know where that's coming from, 100 million a week. Unless I might have said it by mistake, but I meant 100,000 pound, not 100 million. I don't know. Maybe I did. I don't know. Can't remember now. Uh, it's grand, not million, absolutely, Paul. Plenty of people wanting season tickets if people do not want to pay. 
Absolutely, Craig. They don't want to take one advantage and get one to go, then some great players, then, yeah. I mean, look, the thing is, with the season ticket thing, if we want to become the league club and we want to be right up there, then we've got to attract the best players. But then we've got best players cost money. And, you know, tickets have got to go up, you know. Um, So it it's part and parcel inflation, unfortunately. Corporates where the money is, absolutely, Craig. You're absolutely spot on there. That's where the money is at corporate levels. It's just not good enough, mate. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, Paul. Um, but yeah, as I say, the corporate's where you want to be. But, you know, can't price fans out of the game. But look, if this was under our former own and he was putting prices up like this, we'd all be having a good whinge about it, wouldn't we? You know? So, but just sort of looking at it saying, you know, just, you know, you've just got to accept these changes. It's going to happen. Season ticket price are going to go up. You know, at the end of the day, it's called inflation, unfortunately, and we've just got to put up with it. You know, um, if we want to be this bigger club, you know, we're still, at least we're cheaper than some clubs still, though. Um, which is, you know, which is fantastic. Um, guys, we've got um, we've got 25 likes, but we've got 40 people watching. So if you can smash that like button, that'd be absolutely fantastic. If you haven't yet hit that thumbs up, just give it a click up. Click up. It doesn't take two seconds and it helps the channel grow, mate, as well. So if you can all hit that thumbs up, that'd be fantastic. Let's try and smash over 50 likes on this, shall we? Even when it's on catch up as well, that'd be fantastic just to help the channel. And it just means, keeps the channel towards the top of the search and it means new people find the channel easily as well, new viewers. Also, if you're not new, if you're new at the channel, come and smash that subscribe and join this great community we got here as well. Need to get rid of the Deadwood. Six players at least to go, our top players coming in, a few contracts as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's not Fulham, they have 3,000 plus tickets. I think Trolls, he's lacking options. He should put the kids out, give them a chance, yeah. Chelsea have no discounts for tickets. No, they don't. He has uh, White at the moment who could do a better job. Yeah, I think he does as well. Uh, Julie says, thumbs up this way. Would help the channel. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Julie. White should be given a chance, I agree, yeah. Come on, people, hit the likes. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, mate. Never should have shown Shelby at the time we did. He asked me, he would have fluffed a game like this. Shelby is not the player he used to be now. Uh, Alan says, bye, guys. I'm off to take the dog for a walk before kick off 2 2. Cheers, Alan. Thanks very much, mate. Catch you later. Ronald says, we are cheaper than some clubs, but the average wage is lower than down south as well. Yeah, absolutely, Ronald. Absolutely, um, as well. I bet Shelby wished he never left, says Paul Gordon. Well, yeah, but he does now, you know. Um, yeah, Shelby probably does wish he never left the club. Right, guys and girls, um, obviously at 12 o'clock you've got, um, I'm not sure if Jack's doing one from Toon TV, if he's doing a, a watch-along, but Toon Review are definitely doing a watch-along with Paul and Billy. I think Paul's, yeah, because I don't think Paul's going back until the club uh, investigate his complaint. Um but Paul and Billy are doing the watch along this afternoon. Uh, so that's on in a few minutes' time. So if you want the alternative copy, if you don't want to listen to Darren Fletcher, because I think he's an awful commentator, then go and listen to Paul and Billy. Um, sure, when the goal's going, Paul will tell you to grab your granny, take out of the bingo, take out of the fishy, fish and chip shop or whatever. Um, but go and, go and uh, join those guys. Fantastic channel, fantastic guys. And um, yeah. Let's hope we get the, the win we need as well to help maintain our European push. Um, if you have liked what you see, please do smash that like. It does help the channel. So if you haven't yet smashed that like, do give it a like. It only takes a couple of seconds to click our thumbs up like showing the sheep's demonstrating. If you are brand new to the channel, come and smash the subscribe. Come be part of the screen community we got you. Also hit that bell notification. That tells you when I'm live, have a pre-record or any upcoming shows as well. 
You can always become a member at any time by clicking the join button. It's 99p a month. And if you want to make a donation, you can do that in chat, clicking on the dollar sign, all money reinvested back in the channel. Right, let's grab into some comments before we head off. Um, where are we comments? Because I keep clicking up. Harvey, I bet she'll, yeah, I bet he doesn't. Uh, do you know if the Toon Review and American Mag are doing a watch along? I know the Toon Review are. I don't know what the American Mag is doing. I'm not sure. I've, I'm notified on their channel, but I've not seen a notification for that. So I would think Toon Review probably. So just head to the Toon Review, mate. Uh, how is the coward when it comes to using youngsters? Yeah, great trolls. Uh, Steve Cooper and the Turkish League killed him. It was mint until the... <laughs> Yeah, TT are doing a watch along as well. Yeah, Julie. Uh, great show, says Trolls. Cheers, me. Thank you. Uh, what happened with Paul and the club? I haven't heard. Um, go back and watch his video from his instant reaction when we played Everton. And then you'll catch up all on the gen there, mate. He tells you on there. Lee says, been a great show, Tony and everyone. Come on, the mate. You two know me. Have a good day, you too, mate. Oh, he's not using them because they're not good enough, says Jake. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Remember, the future's bright. The future is definitely black and white. Come on, lads. Let's do it. Let's pull out a win. I know it's going to be tough, but come on. Let's do it. And until then, I'll see you later. How are the lads? Oh!